Hey everyone and welcome to Stress Management Rituals for Busy Bosses and Entrepreneurs. My name is Maria Fontana, your favorite intuitive business consultant and growth strategist and creator of Zen and Profits for Your Business. So today we're going to talk about really how to scale our businesses to six plus seven figures by taking great care of ourselves. So you guys might be saying to me right now, hey Maria, what are you talking about? What does stress management and self-care and rituals have to do with money? Well, let, let me tell you guys, it has everything to do with money. Because if we don't show up energetically aligned, if we don't show up for our employees, our team, our clients, ourselves, in a proper energy where we're fulfilled, we're grounded, we're really feeling good, and our energies align with our business and with our purpose, I can tell you that it will trickle down and affect everything you do and affect your bottom line and your income. So let's get started without any further ado. I have to be honest with you, nine out of 10 clients that start working with me, the first thing we have to work on is them. So take a look in the mirror and really be honest with yourself and say, do I need to do some personal work? Do I need to do some healing work? Am I really, really listening to my soul and honoring my spirit and taking great care of myself and de-stressing every day so I can show up aligned and really attract the abundance in my business and grow to where I want to be? So without any further ado, let's get started. I want you to put your feet on the ground. Get really comfy, loosen up your shoulders, loosen up your neck. Just release, let all your muscles and our old tensions just release. You can close your eyes if you'd like to. I want you to take a nice deep breath. Now I want you to feel it right into your belly, into your gut, ready? Release, inhale. Release. Doesn't that feel good? One more time. Release. Now, the breath is the number one controller and trigger of anxiety and stress. When we're under pressure, we're under stress, we tend to hold our breath, guys. We don't even realize it. So at any time of day, this is the number one ritual that I use on a daily basis multiple times a day to really get myself grounded again, bring myself back into alignment and actually eliminate, like just detox and get rid of any kind of stress that may be accumulating. Before I recorded this video today, my computer crashed. It, it knocked out my video twice while I was trying to record. I had to actually do these exercises myself for five minutes before I could come back and be totally aligned and show up for you in the right energy. So it is life, but these are tips and tools that you can implement daily. So number one is our breath. Number two, I want you to focus on gratitude. I know it's oh, everyone talks about it, but do you have a little gratitude journal? If you don't, I'd suggest that you just get a cute little journal, put it next to your nightstand or wherever your rest spot is at the end of the evening, and just choose five things that you're grateful for. I choose five things in the morning and five things in the evening. And that just sets the tone for me before I go to sleep, and it sets the tone for me in the morning. Guys, you'd be surprised. I actually practice this ritual in bed. As soon as my subconscious mind wakes up, I take a few deep breaths. And I just thank the universe, God, angels, my spirit guides, beings of light, whoever it is you believe in, whatever resonates with you, whatever works for you, just thank them, it, whoever it is, for five things in your life. So that's ritual number two. Now, I want you to understand something. I have an integrative healing practitioner license and certification and I am a life coach also. So I have implemented all these personal development, spiritual and healing practices into my business coaching practice and consulting. And that marriage has actually changed my business and my client's business and how we show up. Because so remember guys, if you're not taking great care of yourselves, you can hustle all you want. Two things I'm going to teach you, you can never out hustle a great strategy and you can never out hustle if you're not taking great care of yourself so put that in your mind so ritual number two is a grat giving gratitude for something number three is how about 
implementing do less, attract more, simplifying your life. The, the less you do that's not busy work, and I want you to take a moment and I want you to write down, what are you doing daily for your business that's truly aligned, profitable, and giving you results? And what are you doing that's just wasting your time and giving you more stress? When we really analyze these things, you will see that in order to attract more abundance into your life, some things we have to do less and simplify and really focus on the things that work instead of being all over the place, especially with technology today and social media, be mindful of where you're showing up with your energy and where you're spending your time. Number four, believe in yourself and your higher power. Believe that there's spirit, believe in your energy and let spirit take the wheel. We all have it inside of us. We all have our intuition, we have our inner guidance. We are surrounded by energy and light. You can call onto something bigger than you for support. Don't think you've got to go at it alone. This is one of the most important things I learned in my 20 years of personal development and doing intense healing work as I was an entrepreneur of multiple businesses, a single mom, and had tons of stress, depression, all kinds of crap I was dealing with. I had to realize that I didn't have to do it all alone, that it was okay, I can give my stress and problems to the universe. I can release it. I can say, I'm giving it up to God. I'm giving it up to my angels. I'm giving it up to the universe, to Buddha, to whatever, the Tao, whoever it is you believe in, whatever resonates with you. And just releasing that. These are daily rituals that will help you shift your energy. Guys, you have to stop and feel it. You have to stop and feel your breath. You have to stop and feel your soul and release anything that's not serving you. Now, if you are suffering from severe depression, if you're suffering from anything that's holding you back, then I highly recommend that you get a mentor, a healer, a therapist. Being healthy, be, working on yourself personally is the number one tool into having successful profitable business. I cannot stress this enough. So if you need help, you need extra support, honor yourself enough to go get that support. Don't sit there and suffer in silence. Also, I want you to let guidance flow, which means <sighs> I sit back and I say, what do I really need to do today? what feels good to me, what is going to produce the right thing at the right time for my business, and where am I putting that energy today? By you simply acknowledging what you're feeling, by you simply feeling and not constantly being on that hamster wheel, this ritual is stop and listen to your gut. I know it's hard, guys, but I want you to challenge yourself. Five minutes a day, just stop close your eyes, take three deep breaths and ask yourself, am I aligned right now? Does it feel good? Because I can tell you, if you're not feeling good, that is the barometer, that is your GPS, that you're not in alignment. If you don't feel good, you're not aligned. It's very simple. So you have to step back and say, okay, well, you know what? No, I'm not feeling good. What do I need to do to make this better and take those actions? Remember, I've been there, being under chronic stress every day as an entrepreneur, especially as a busy salon owner, as a spa owner, a medi spa owner, a holistic practitioner, business owner, you will not be able to show up effectively for your clients because especially if you're working on clients or with clients and you're a transformational expert, the client will feel your energy, even if it's on Zoom, even if it's on a phone call, if you're working on them hands-on especially, you're going to transmit that toxic energy to them and it is going to hurt your business. So implementing these few healing rituals is going to shift everything. I'm going to share my last favorite healing ritual that I use myself as a guided imagery practitioner. I use it on myself. I use it with my clients and I teach it to my clients. It is free and you could do it yourself. I want you to close your eyes, take a deep breath. Ready? And now we're going to practice light work. This is my version of light work and it's energy healing work. It's a form of my own healing rituals that I instill into my life daily. Now you can do this anytime, anywhere with your eyes open, your eyes shut, 
but I want you to right now imagine a beautiful explosion of fireworks and light. And all these fireworks now are trickling down over your body. And whatever color they may be for you, maybe it's pink, maybe it's blue, maybe it's green, maybe it's white, maybe it's golden. It is a healing light that has a warm, delicious sensation as it's trickling over your body. It's just showering you with healing light. This healing light's traveling down your entire body, down your arms, down your tummy, over your hips, down your thighs, and finally traveling down through your feet. As it travels out through your feet, you're going to imagine that any not negative energy that was lodged in your body is now shooting out through your feet into the earth and it, it's expelling out of your body as more healing light trickles over you. You're just feeling so amazing. Now, whatever color the light is for you, it's what you need today. If it's pink, it it's, could be that you need love or affection. If it's purple, you're, you, you're in need of peace. If it's green, you're in need of healing. If it's blue, you're in need of courage, protection. Any of these colors, white is the ultimate healing light of the universe. Gold is a protective angelic light. So whatever resonates with you, whatever you see is what you need. I'm hoping that these few stress management rituals will help you really manage your life a little better. Remember guys, taking great care of ourselves is the number one factor in being successful business owners. I can't stress enough, Zen and Profits is all about creating a peaceful and profitable business where we're aligned energetically, we're aligned spiritually, and we're showing up for our clients and producing great income in our businesses. You can take these few rituals, you can download this video, and you can share them with your team, share them with your staff. These are things you can implement and bring them right into your business, right into your salon. You may get some people say, oh, this is a little too woo for me, but you know what? Spirituality in business is the way things are going to grow nowadays. And if you want to really grow your business to a place where it's going to be aligned with the universe and aligned with abundance, you have to be aligned yourself first. Here's sending you all massive love and light. If you want to get in on Zen and Profits, just click the link below. I'd be more than happy to hop on a call with you. I love you all. If you have any questions for me, just post in the comment thread and I will gladly answer them for you. Love and light, guys. Have an awesome day. Thank you for coming.